The technology we're building is gonna take someone from being literally clinically dead to going back to their families. Out of hospital cardiac arrest is a massive healthcare problem. Every year in the US alone, over 350,000 people die from cardiac arrest. And the problem is that they do not have access to the technology that can save their life. And that's an automated external defibrillator or an AED for short. Survival rates for cardiac arrest emergencies have stayed at 10% for the last two decades. Something has to be done to change that. And that's really where it flipped to understanding the need for something new in this industry and something that would change the way that we respond to cardiac arrest and how these devices get used. Not just think of it as the box that's gonna deliver the shock, but think of how do we address this problem of, of cardiac arrest in its entirety. Medically, we're not really doing anything different from existing defibrillation technology. Defibrillation has proven to work really, really well. The most critical thing is accessibility and getting defibrillation as soon as possible. And the first way to do that is to build a device that is more accessible. That's improving portability and mobility of that device. It's making it easier to use. It's making it connected so it can be a part of a system of response. It's making it more affordable so that more people can access it and actually buy the thing, right? It's small, it fits easily in the palm of my hand. It's got the electrode pads that are used to apply to the patient and deliver a defibrillation shock. It has the ability to navigate you from wherever this device might be placed to where the cardiac arrest is happening. It has the ability to give you audio instructions as if you've never used one before to walk you through exactly how to use the product. All of this intelligence is built into this device such that you as the untrained person can pick it up and save somebody's life with it.